Meanwhile, Drake has lost two in a row, losing at Indiana State and in triple overtime against Southern Illinois last week. And they've had all week to think about that, Mike Pratt. Both teams, Lauren, have had time to think about the previous games and also rest up, maybe nurse some small injuries that have happened during the previous games. But what's really important tonight is how Bradley gets off to his start and how Drake gets off to his start. Drake is really concerned with tempo. If you've seen Bradley play, you understand how they get up and down the floor, really play that transition ball game. Drake wants to not get in a run-and-shoot game, but take the best possible shot, and if all possible, make Bradley play defense. Well, years ago, I did Bradley basketball for six years, and ironically, came to Des Moines to do minor league baseball and Drake basketball. So I'm familiar with both fine institutions, and as we covered at the start of the show, this is a very tough place to win at, and here tonight, we're going to have a near-capacity crowd. You've been around the Valley quite a long time. I followed the Valley as a youngster growing up in Ohio, and you know the rivalries in the Valley. You're very aware of We ought to have a big great game tonight. And two of the premier schools in the conference, they've probably been in the conference longer than anybody else. In fact, uh, they have. They are the two oldest institutions in the Missouri Valley. And now for our starting lineup, let's go down to our PA announcer, Max Rauer. Poor Bradley. Number 32, a 6'5 senior from Chicago, Greg Jones. For the Bulldogs, number 22, a 6'4 senior from St. Louis, the Wolverine team. For Bradley, number 40, a 6'7 senior from Havana, Illinois, Trevor Pimpy. For the Bulldogs, number 32, a 6'6 sophomore from Kansas City, Kansas, Sam Rook. At center, for Bradley, number 53, a 6'8 sophomore from Springfield, Illinois, Luke Jackson. For the Bulldogs, number 54, a 6'10 junior from Mitchell, South Dakota, Bart Frederick. In the guard court, for Bradley, number 12, a 5'11 junior from Chicago, Anthony Manuel. For the Bulldogs, number 20, a 6'2 junior from Chicago, Eric Berger. And for Bradley, number 33, a 6'3 senior from Chicago, Jesse Hawkins. For the Bulldogs, number 24, a 6'2 senior from Carbondale, Illinois, Glenn Martin. Great University Bulldogs. Well, there are your starting lineups. Bradley, as you take a look at their outstanding coach, the pride of Chenoa, Illinois, Stan Albeck. Stanley in his second year at Bradley and in his seventh year at Drake, Gary Garner. 194, lost 97. In fact, the best year he had was a 500 year. This team's had a lot of tough luck this year, and he's hoping to get above 500. We'll be back with the opening tip-off for tonight's game right after this. This is the man to see. He's more than a banker. He's a better banker, and he understands your special needs. It doesn't matter whether you own a farm, your own business, or want a new car. When you need a loan, you'll get better service and better rates at a better bank. Need a loan? Better see a better banker. Because after all, better people make better banks. Bartonville, Wyoming, Glassford, Dunlap, Astoria, and Hope Tape. Members of FDIC. And now, those in the local scene, here's Bob. Nothing interesting happened locally. What do you mean, nothing interesting happened? Well, nothing compared to the news about S&K Chevrolet. They've got hundreds of 87 Chevrolets they have to do. Uh -huh. So they're giving up to $2,000 cash back on selected models. Really? And with the buyer's good credit, you can buy with no cash down and no payments to 88. No kidding. And you can even get financing as low as 1.9%. This is new. I told you. And now with the sports news, here's Bob. Public scores from the far west, Guam 84, Kanawha 77, and all this news from S&K Chevrolet. S&K Chevrolet, Knoxville and Pioneer Park, the Aria. to go and our referees for tonight's ball game from the Missouri Valley Conference. The man who's been around a long time in the middle, Earl Stull on your left, Willie Sanchez, and on your right, Wayne Unruh. Well, Bradley, 
did not start Donald Powell. Jerry Thomas was going to get the start, but instead Stan Albeck has gone to 6'5", senior from Robeson High School in Chicago, Greg Jones. There you see Bradley with a 10-game edge, and they have won their last three games here in Des Moines. Lord, I believe that change in the starting lineup in talking with Coach Albeck before the game was simply a defensive adjustment to honor Sam Rourke and his abilities of late. They wanted someone there defensively to try to do something with Sam Rourke. Drake had the height advantage, but Luke Jackson out jumped Mark Frederick. Bradley, a, almost a 50% shooting team. Drake almost 48% from the field. And the ball batted away, but controlled by Hersey Hawkins. Ian Emanuel at the guards. On the wings, Trevor Trippi and Greg Jones. And in the middle, Luke Jackson. Both teams tonight will be primarily, if not exclusively, man-to-man -man defense. And the miss by Jackson, but picked up and put in by Greg Jones. But well, he's averaging only 3.8 points of all game, getting a rare start here tonight. That's interesting. Greg Jones, in his rare start, as you very well said, scored a hoop in the paint. A problem area for Coach Allback so far this year. This is Glenn Martin. They swing it around on the left side, the burger. Into Mark Frederick, and we got a traveling call as he tried to back into the basket. Well, the turnover, the double down by the great defenders, excuse me, the Bradley defenders, got Frederick to think a little bit in the feet shuffle. So the defense that time by Bradley created that turnover. Eric Berger putting a little pressure on the inbound. He's man to man against Manuel. We've got Guardian Hershey Hawkins staying with us. And Hawkins misses a quarter James and great off to the rebound. Martin off to James. Drake's got good perimeter shooting for the first time in a while. And that could be tough. And there's a perimeter shot over, shot to Mark. And Bradley Jackson gets it into the front court. The manual loses control but maintains his dribble. And Trevor Trippy is fouled. Mark tagging off on Percy Hawkins came up to meet him and picks up the foul. Coach Gary Garner, a big defensive advocate, teaches that pressure defense. That time, about a step off from getting that passing lane. He loves to play the passing lane, loves to teach his defense to kick the offense about a step out of their normal pattern. Percy Hawkins, offensive foul. Might have been a little acting on the part of Walter James right there. Might have been, but in the last ball game against Wichita State, Hawkins fouled out the last three calls were charging calls. So now we pick up with another charging call. Maybe Hersey needs to sit back, relax a little bit, and adjust his offensive move. Look for Drake to have two or three different players. Hawkins does do the lean act, and it could have been charging. Frederick misses the layup. James brings it out. Sam Lord does not touch the ball. Offensively, number 32 for Drake is 50. Comes up with the steal. Hawkins on the drive. Moves his body around, no. And Trevor Trippi for the rebound. Pushed off. And that is his first foul. Second on the break. Not a bad foul. Trevor Trippi follows the play. Hawkins using great body control. You'll see Trippi coming in the middle of your screen. Not so sure that was not a nitpick foul, Lauren. Very much so. Two to nothing. Bradley leading. Drake to the ball. And stolen away by Bradley. Good play on the part of Manuel. Picked it loose. Both teams handling the ball tonight so far. About like the cold weather outside. Alley oop! Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass. Bradley. 2-1-2, press. Bradley likes to run this press to try to create an up-tempo situation. Lob in another steal by Bradley. Hawkins to Manuel. Hawkins left side, a two-point attempt, no good. And Jones has the ball batted away from him by Sam Ward. On the drive, Berger. And it's Chicago and this one. Tempo not really right now what Drake feels is the most effective tempo for them. Tempo in favor of Bradley. They wanted to be patient, but they haven't been. Exactly. Anthony Manuel on the lob to Greg Jones. And he's got four of the first Bradley six points. He's already over his average per game. When they inside scores to Bradley, it opens up for Manuel and Hawkins on the outside. It really takes a lot of pressure off them. Rourke. Nice pass by Berger inside. And Drake 
with 16.43 to play, score their first points of the night. Manuel, missing. Ward with the rebound, his second straight. James on the drive, and we got a foul on Hawkins, his second. Not a good foul. Bradley needs Hersey Hawkins in there. That was not a smart foul on his part. He never gets set and cuts off the defender. He should have stayed with the defender and not try to cut him off and go on to the hoop and let him have the shot that put a little pressure. From that angle, you can see it's more evidence that he doesn't get those feet planted, Lauren. You have to get the body turned and the feet planted. Waller James, 76% free throw shooter. This is the first. So here we've played three and a half minutes and Hersey Hawkins, the main man for the Bradley Braves, two fouls. Not a good sign if you're a Bradley Braves fan. Makes the second, six to three. Pressure, five by Drake in the inbound. Surprising, I did not look to see Drake come out and play at full court pressure. Once they got the inbound pass, then they relaxed and we have a foul inside. It's going to be out quickly. That'll be his second foul. Looks like the referees are going to stay right on top of this thing from the start. This is not the old valley that I know where they let you play. You're right about that, the rough and tumble, and only the strong survive. Is there a valley, huh? Stan Albrecht really hot on the Bradley bench. He runs that off, that passing game offense. Ward didn't see it coming. Manuel. Two short. Great six it out. They got a three on two. All batted away, but picked up. Good patience. Good patience that time, Ward. He just joined us. Bradley jumped out to a six-nothing lead. Now a six-to-three ball. Frederick inside. Six to five. Five straight points for Drake. Frederick did a good job catching Jackson behind him that time. Nice drop step, pivot for the basket, easy two. Hawkins got three of James. He got picked off, but he misses. Both teams extremely cold. Three-pointer. Good. Eric Berger out of Chicago Westinghouse. Former teammate with Hersey Hawkins. Never fails. When you talk about someone and you say they can't do something or aren't doing something, they always turn around and do it. Number triple for the corner. No good. Underneath, Jones, he's foul. Eric Berger, who just made that three-pointer for Drake. This is Stan Allback, and this is my man for the best car deals in the Peoria area. You salaries at Beldy Ford and Beldy Lincoln Mercury. Thanks, Stan. We've got the best selection of new and used cars and trucks at the lowest prices right here at Beldy Ford and Beldy Lincoln Mercury. If you think about it, why would you want to go anywhere else? Come in and join the Beldy team today. Bradley and Beldy, the two hottest teams in Central Illinois. And remember, if you can't beat your best deal, he'll give you the car free. Just tell him Stan sent you. Nobody beats Hamptons for price. Now, Maryland cabinets at factory direct prices. Maryland quality, Maryland extras for the lowest price on cabinets. Nobody beats Hamptons. The best for less every, every day. Remodeling your bath? See Hamptons. Nobody has more Maryland vanities, more medicine chests, more lights, and more marble tops. All at factory direct prices. For the best selection and the best price, see Hamptons. The best for less every, every day. All you need to know about great selection and low prices is here. Inside the new circular for two bags of luggage. The Dollar Dazzle Circular offers over 100 items for one dollar or less. Like Daddy Bright Light Bulb, Green Gun Potting Saw, Scotch Brand Sealing Stick, Fortress Test Paint Thinner, an Empire Stripping Brush, or Service Spray Enamel. 
For great prices and professional advice, shop at participating True Value Hardware Store. And tell them Pat Summerall sent you. Eight to seven, Drake leading Bradley. If you joined us just a moment ago, Bradley started out making the first six points. Drake reeled off eight in a row, and then Bradley just got a free throw by Greg Jones to cut it to a one-point lead, and the Braves are going to press. The Braves like this press. It gets the up tempo situation. Surprising that no uh, Lauren tonight. Drake has utilized the break to their advantage. It hasn't been the Bradley break that's been the shining star. Walter James inside the Frederick. Big man brings it out. James. No good. The battle for the rebound. Little Anthony Manuel coming away with it for Bradley. Mark Frederick is a, a big man for the Drake Bulldogs that they really need to play well tonight because he, when he plays well, they usually do. He establishes that inside position. And a foul on Walter James out of St. Louis, Missouri. Correction, Sam Orr, his second foul. That's a big one right there. Two this early on the game, in the game on him, just like two on Hersey Hawkins, can be a major factor. We might be seeing a lot of the bench tonight if the present friend continues. But when you take those two people out, you don't have the same type of talent to replace them. So really, it's uh, really tough. Mercy Hawkins stay right with him is Walter James. Greg Jones, Peter Jackson. Drake has rotated uh, Berger and Walter James at different times on Hersey Hawkins. Anthony Manuel with the miss to Greg Jones. He is down six on the Bradley nine points as the Braves lead by one. That's why he's in there and Donald Powell is not. He can give them that push off the boards and the offense is throwing off the boards that they need and haven't got. Both teams man to man defense so far. Will not see uh, anything but a man to man for Drake. Bradley may go to a zone from time to time. Move inside by Rourke. That's where he's been scoring, right in there from block to block in the paint area. He's developed a nice little touch. He's also an excellent offensive rebound. Hawkins with his first basket of the night, a three-pointer. And Bradley on top by a pair. Lauren, he gets squared to the basket so quick and has such a quick release. And what he does to set that up is play without the ball. How many guys averaging 36 points a game in your career have you seen play that well without the ball? Big key in his game, no question about it. He has really made himself into an outstanding player. Nice pass to Jones. But Manuel, it was a hockey game, we had two assists in a goal. It was a baseball game, six, seven to five. Right. Or something like that. But the key to that was Hawkins and Manuel. Their passing resulted in Jones' basket. It's been a game of runs. Bradley six in a row, Drake eight in a row, and now Bradley five in a row. And Frederick taps it out of bounds over Jackson. For a moment, we might have had on the back foul. But it was close. Referees were right there. Wasn't much of a foul. They let it go. Gary Garner in his seventh year with the Bulldogs. First ahead. year, 12 and 12. This year, he's got an opportunity to finish over 500 for the first time. Having done the ball games last year in the Valley and then watching Drake play twice this year, very impressed with the job Coach Garner's done. A vastly improved basketball game. Jones misses in the turnaround, Strippy with it. And the ball batted away, but Hawkins gets it. Put it up and then another three-pointer. I'll tell you, James gave him a little slack, and that's all he needed. Good point. I, he took the words right from my mouth. You cannot give that young man an inch. And James gave him about three. It was over then. Eight straight points for Bradley. They lead by seven. We referred to earlier when I said that Drake usually wins or plays extremely well when Bart Frederick scores in there, and that's a start for him. Out of bounds. Drake's ball. Trevor Trippi out of Havana, Illinois on the inbound. In fact, of the ten young men on the court here that have started this game, seven are from the state of Illinois, all five of Bradley's starters. Donahue Kinsey from Miami, Florida. Checking into the ball game and Walter James going out. That might be because of the last three-pointer by Hawkins. Also, a defensive substitution. Nice shot by Jackson. Kinsey will guard Hawkins. Coach Garner felt that he likes to rotate two or three guys on Hawkins because Hawkins has a tendency to move through the picks and you might wear him down with different people. And Rourke. 
loses the ball. They're going to give it to Drake. And Ben Albeck is high. And he's got a right to be. That referee is part of the floor. It didn't go out of bounds. It bounced back into the Bradley player's hands to be Bradley Ball. They're not going to give it to him. Now both teams have gone to the bench. No time out for the ball, but apparently we have an official foul. What we might have missed, the referee may have been out of bounds. May have been out of bounds. 19 to 12. Bradley by 7, 11.46 to go in the first half. And we'll be back right after this. Toyota Quality. It's a tradition that keeps growing stronger year after year. Number one in its class for customer satisfaction, the Toyota Tercel. The most trouble-free car sold in America. The Toyota Cressida. The best-selling 4x4 compact truck. Toyota. The number one compact truck sold in towing capacity and payload. Toyota. And they're all sold at a first-class dealership. Peoria Toyota Volvo. Who could ask for anything more? For the past 18 years, Vince's Pizza and Morton has brought the taste of Italy home. Come in and enjoy Vince's all you can eat smorgasbord with authentic Italian dishes. There's mouth watering pasta, homemade breads, piping hot pizza, and much more pure Italian goodness. It's so mouth watering good, you'll come back for more and more and more. So come to Vince's Pizza in Morton and experience Italy like you never have before. Hi, this is Vince's Pizza. Come in over and try one of my pizza. Thank you very much. rights to this game have been granted to sports station by the Missouri Valley Conference and creating sports marketing. Any reproduction or the use of this program without the express written consent of sports station, the Missouri Valley Conference and creating sports marketing is prohibited. The announcers for this program have been approved by the Missouri Valley Conference. And Greg Jones with a foul inside. Not a bad foul. Jones trying to make his presence felt. A big, strong-looking young man. He's in there trying to establish some authority. 15 foul on Bradley. Drake with three. 19 to 12. Bradley by seven. Drake's done a good job so far keeping that Bradley transition game intact. And they've really done a good job, and they've, they've really created a tempo now since the first time out in the first half. Frederick fouled by Jackson. Silly foul. He put his hand on it. I think you said it all. Well, we'd like to welcome on our Sports Vision Network tonight, WHOI, Channel 19 in Peoria, taking this game and by alma mater for six years. You called that one right. He thought he was playing linebacker for the Bears that time and used his forearms too much. You have to play defense with your feet. But we're backing in. The turnaround, no good. And we're going to get another foul on Jackson. He picked up two quick fouls. And that will be a shooting foul, but Drake will now be in the bonus with 11.25 to go in the first half. That's key, Lauren. And also for any of the young people watching this game out here, you play that defense, as I said, with your feet. Coach Allback a little unhappy right now. Jackson didn't need to make that foul. Play with your feet. Don't foul the big man when he's really out of position. He forced that shot. He should have let him go ahead and shoot it because he didn't have a good chance of making it and established rebounding position. Donald Powell off the bench. He'll check in. Frederick makes the first. You saw on the screen. Here comes Donald Powell. As we mentioned, he had just checked in. Jackson going out. Let's see if that uh, non-starting role motivates Donald Powell. I know Coach Albeck thinks a lot of him. Hoping that possibly coming off that bench, he might be able to light a fire under Donald to get him back to where he's really a serious contributor again. Bradley with the ball by five. And we have a pushing foul. Charge against Drake. Donnie Hugh Kinsey. Kinsey has to learn you can't run over those picks. Bradley runs a motion offense where they run Hawkins to multiple picks. You have to run around them, not through them. get out on him exactly what you said about Walter James, Lauren. You can't give this guy an inch or two, and they do, and he'll stick it right in the ball. The turnaround, too hard. Frederick has it, loses it. Ball is picked up by Powell to Manuel. Inside the Powell. And a foul on Frederick. He got the ball, but I think he got a little hit there as well. That looks like he 
Yankees really into the ball game. He got a, a loose ball down here, pushed it up the floor, and got to the block on the break for the secondary situation. Hey, give Powell a lot of credit. He's coming in with fire in his eye. Now if he can convert, it'll be a successful trip down the floor. 60% free throw shooter for the year. Was it was in the was it in the Bobby Knight book where he was quoted? I think it's one of the great quotes in coaching. And I, I got to paraphrase it, but he said the most important motivational tool basically is put a guy on the bench. Well, wake him up quicker than anything. I would agree with you and agree with Bobby Knight. The pine motivates most people if they're competitive. Finally with a trap, but Drake still out in trouble getting the ball into the front court, and they didn't do it. Ten second violation and another turnover the Bulldogs. Bradley lost, uh, excuse me, Drake lost any cutters through that press. They didn't run anybody through the press, but so gave Bradley a chance to keep their position and they didn't have to react. Everything just bogged down at that point, Lauren, and you saw it at midcourt. Everything bogged right down. Walter James returning to the ball game and Donahue Kinsey out. Bradley has won three straight in this arena. Reference Auditorium. But Drake went into Peoria last year and not Bradley out of the Valley Championship. I think you're not going to also hit the feet of the Braves. Strange happening last year when you lose at home, you win on the road in this particular series. Manuel with the offensive line. Little guy dropped his head. Didn't realize where Big Mark Frederick was at. He ran right over the top of him. Didn't hurt Frederick, though. I'll assure you of that. <laughs> so drop his head in the shoulder. You saw right there. You know, looking at the replay, I'm not so sure that Frederick didn't move into him. Because he was playing behind Powell at the time. You might have a point there, but the key was when the shoulder dropped and the head dropped, the referees react. Exactly. Hawkins with the steal. And go to Hawkins. Got a little bit of a screen. Drake with the rebound. Hart. Eric Berger. Too high. Hawkins with the rebound. Hawkins is doing everything right now. Stealing the ball, rebounding, getting in in the offensive end. Greg Jones, how about that? Greg Jones averaging 3.8 points of all game for Bradley this year. In a starting role tonight, has 11. And Bradley with a 10-point lead, the biggest margin of the night. Don't you think Coach Albeck has found out what motivates Greg Jones? All these fellas have played quite a bit of ball together. Crumpy and Jones and Powell and Hawkins and Thomas, all seniors. And the turnover again. Drake looked a little frustrated at time. They rushed things a little bit without getting into the set offensive pattern. They need to slow down, take their time, make sure they get a good shot, and make Bradley play defense. Stan Albeck in the NBA, also in the ABA. Well, we got a couple of moves for Drake. Curtis Stuckey has come into the ball game. And it looks like David Zing. Zing is their offensive designated shooter. Look for him on the offensive end to spy up from the three-point line. Curtis Stuckey, number 14, out of Peoria, Illinois. Went to Manuel High School there. And foul on Frederick. I believe that is his second. Tell you what, Davey Phillips, commissioner of officials from the Missouri Valley Conference, probably is told his officials, call him tight. Powell just throws his way in there. He's lucky to get away with that. It looks like he might have dropped that shoulder himself and almost had a charge. Another Chicago youngster, Terry Robinson, number 44 for Drake Jackson out of Chicago Vocational High School on the great south side of Chicago. With the pace of this game right now, Lauren, so John feels he could bring some substitutes in and rest his starters for a couple of minutes and get him back. Pressure. Powell with the free throw, and it's a 11 point lead. Number 20. Getting a rest and cutting in for the Bradley Braves is Paul Wilson, a junior out of Lorraine Catholic High School in Ohio. Freaky shooter coming in for Bradley. Paul Wilson, he's good hot. We had him a couple games last year where he would get three, four, five three-pointers. So keep your eye on him, spotting up also from out to the three-point range. Seven-point run for Bradley. They had a six-point run, an eight-point run, now a seven-point run. And they lead by 12. Inside, too hard. Bradley with the ball. Drake doesn't need those type of turnovers right now. This game can get away from them very quickly here if they're not careful. Inside the power. 
before he could come down with the ball. I'm not so sure that was a good call. Coach Allback and Powell both had something to, uh, to complain about there. Robert James inside to Robinson. No good. Robinson gets it back, and he is fouled by Manuel. Sam Roark took it to the hole, drew the defense, and then found Terry Robinson open under the basket. But Bradley, Hawkins, Manuel, Trimpey, and Jackson all with two fouls apiece. Tremendous effort here from Terry Robinson. He stays with it. He saw he missed the first one. Doesn't give up. Goes right back, and he does get hacked that time. No doubt about that one. York and Frederick, two big guns for Drake also with two fouls. Eight and a half to go here. First half. Terry Robinson. Out of Chicago, this is Terry. 59% free throw shooter for the year. A lot of Chicago influence out here tonight. In the Illinois game. All the Illinoisans, he missed both. Bradley with a run of seven has a chance to get a run of nine or more. Neither team, neither team has big men who can convert to the foul line consistently. That's really a problem because your big guy, if he can get to the foul line, you want him to score the foul shot. Wilson, three-pointer. No good. Terry Robinson with the rebound. Zing gets it off to Stuckey, the Peoria youngster. Bradley got back very quickly that time. Robinson hung on, but the misdirected his pass. Bradley trying to take advantage of another great turnover. Bradley just comes at you in waves. Here goes Joe. Nice play. 13 points for Joe. That rascal's tough in there. He gets to a ball anywhere up and down the foul lane in that paint area. He is really tough. Nine straight points for Bradley. Great side to Robinson. Great doesn't score here. Lauren, they might need a timeout the next time they get the ball. Gary Garner's on his feet in front of the great bench. The turn around. No good, but the tip up is by Robinson. Good shot by Sam Roark. Excellent follow by Terry Robinson. First half, and a foul on Robinson. The basket is good by Donald Powell. You have to stay down. Don't take the big man's fake. Powell was able to convert that. You'll see Donald Powell give a little fake. Nice pump fake. Terry Robinson, you have to stay down, or you're going to get the foul. Well, a few years ago, I went back to WIRL Radio to work for Ken Brown doing Bradley games. All these youngsters were freshmen, and this young man, Powell, was just simply out there. Well, I think he had that injury last year. Yeah. You're right. He had a strong start of last year. All right, he makes the three-point play. Gives Bradley a 15-point lead with 7.09 left to be played in the first half. And we'll be back for more after this. Now, shop Hamptons and save on Maytag washers. Maytag dishwashers. Save on Maytag ranges. Now, for the best price on Maytag, nobody beats Hampton. The best for that. The Sal Audio and Video Centers are gearing up with the best car stereo deals in town with this Concord High Powered Index loaded with features on sale now for $299. You say big, but that's not all. With Concord CX10 Index, the Sal has a matching pair of 6x9 Concord car speakers valued at $120 absolutely free. Only at LaSalle Audio and Video Centers where we guarantee the lowest prices since day one. So remember, if you don't shop LaSalle, you'll pay too much. LaSalle Audio and Video Centers in Peoria and Bloomington. For the best tires and the best service at the best price, he should have called the pros at Plaza. Now, a slightly used steel belted radio is by Unit Royal or as low as $29.95. The right tires at the right price. See the pros, Plaza Tire and Service Company, Peoria. Left to be played in the first half, Bradley 31, Drake 16. 
Well, our next Chicago Bulls game on Sports Station is Tuesday, February the 9th at 7.30, when the Bulls host the tough Detroit Pistons in an important Central Division battle. Isaiah Thomas returns home to show the stadium crowd his magic. But Ben Collins and the Bulls will have something to say about that in front of a sellout crowd. Your place to see it, Sports Vision. Tuesday, February 9th. Now Bradley, looking on all cylinders right now, 12 out of 24. Drake with 10 turnovers tonight. Bradley with four. Bradley's press has affected Drake. It didn't that time. But up until then, they've really been bothered by it. Walter James with the basket. You see if Bradley continues to go inside. They've been very effective the last four or five times down the floor by getting that ball inside and converting. Going around, goes to the cross court. It's Emmanuel. Or rather, excuse me, Hawkins, and it's slammed in. Paul Wilson, basically great, or rather, excuse me, Bradley with a three-guard offense right now with Manuel Wilson Hawkins. Was that uh, dunk put back on that rebound of beauty? He was up, and he came from a uh, good distance out. That was a beautiful play. Waller James has the ball knocked out of his hands, and it'll be Drake's ball. So Bradley going with Manuel, as they have the last couple of minutes, with Wilson in the lineup, and Hersey Hawkins. So Manuel Hawkins will play the entire first half. They run that passing game and they can get away with playing basically uh, three guards because everyone moves, Manuel handles the ball, and they've got the two big guys going block to block. The series of picks they can get away with those three guards. Bradley, second time tonight, they've had a 15 point lead. Officials had a little confusion. Now Sanchez going over to talk to Gary Garner. And now he's going to all that. I thought there was a rule this year that the official had to talk to both coaches at once. I think there is. Uh, this one's split by here. Yeah, it's out the window right now. Let's see. Inside and Rourke misses the six-footer. They hadn't gone to Sam Rourke in a while. That time they did. He had a good shot. No fall. They did early. So a three-point play here will double the score. It did. 36 to 18, Bradley. Are you a visionary or what, huh? Thank you. There you go. I'm out. Called by Drake. Bradley has double the score of the Bulldogs. Who would have thunk it before this game? At any rate, 557 to go in the first half. Bradley 36 to 18. And we'll be back right after this. People of Central Illinois have been telling you about Pekin new car dealers. Looking Canton and Gloria and Pekin and finally decided to buy a car at Pekin. We negotiated uh, for the very best price. Isn't it time you found out for yourself for the best selection, best service before and after the sale, and the best price? Look no further than the Pekin new car dealers. They have what you're looking for, and they have it for less. Why not try something revolutionary for lunch? Ground beef, lettuce, cheese, and a little imagination. Introducing the new Soft Taco Supreme from Taco Bell. With tomatoes and sour cream. Look, you can try something different or become another statistic. The new Soft Taco Supreme. Now get a Soft Taco Supreme for only 99 cents at Taco Bell. Being a little facetious when I said who would have thought it, but who would have thought that it would have been this kind of ball game this early? Uh, Bradley has just done everything practically right, other than a slow start. So they did lead at one point six to nothing, but they've doubled the score on the Bulldogs. I think your point is well taken. Both teams had a real drought, cold shooting drought, and all of a sudden Bradley started riding it up. Moving in is James. Off the glass, spins out. Powell with the rebound. James has not shot the ball well for Drake lately. He started out the year the leading score, a very high shooting percentage, has really been in his slump. Drake shooting only 44%, Bradley 52%. Now good for Hawkins. That is the first pass that he made tonight that was not a three-pointer. He's got 11. How many guys averaging 36 points a game have you ever seen get the majority of their points without handling the ball? Bradley by 20. Burger. Burger can shoot it. This is the offense that Coach Gary Garner was counting on. 
Berger, the junior college player, to give him the perimeter shooting they were missing last year. He's got five tonight. Drake has been in a man-to-man. -man. And batted away by the Bulldogs' baller, James Emanuel. James anticipated that cut by Hershey Hawkins and then handled it very well. Greg Jones. Got it. What a game by Greg Jones. Out of Chicago Ropes in high school. 15 points for the youngster. That has been able to pull ahead. Jones has scored inside. Powell came off the bench and scored inside. It takes the heat off Hersey Hawkins and Anthony Manuel. A great combination inside, outside. 40 to 20 and the 11th turnover by Drake. As James trying to throw it to Berger. Berger was moving one way. The ball went the other. Tough to beat a real good basketball team or any basketball team when you make 11 turnovers in one half. Left to be played here in the first half. Bradley will take a three to the line at 20 minutes 22 as Donald Powell has come off the bench and has played well for Stan Holbeck. Seven points off the pine. Coach Holbeck expressed concern about the inside game of Bradley Braves. He has to be pleased this first half. 22 point spread for Bradley on the road. Well, that's a lot of points on the road, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think the Drake felt that Bradley played good enough. They scored only 20 points. They've been forced into a lot of turnovers, and they've made a lot of silly turnovers. I think that's the key. I think you're 100% correct, Lord. Jones with the rebound. Anthony Manuel. Percy Hawkins. Back out to Manuel. Hawkins, a very unselfish basketball player. Hawkins. Put it in, a two-pointer. Could well have been a three. It was right there. I love to see those guys who can shoot, but they don't have to have that ball go one-on-one -on -one and dominate the ball. They just work through the offense and turn it in the basket. That's great basket. 13 points for Hawkins. Short. Came up short. Drake not getting any second shot. They get a good first shot. They don't convert. They get nothing else. Got a foul missing. Drake coming away with it. Nice kick out to Berger. He puts it in. Berger with seven points. That breaks their cold spell, but they really need to make some adjustments and changes at halftime in their half-court offense. It's not working right now. Bradley has had runs of six points in a row. Eight points, nine points, seven points, six points. As Hawkins misses and that's out of bounds, it'll be Drake's ball. Johnny Woodson, a freshman out of Detroit from McKinsey High School, comes in for Drake. And Jerry Thomas, out of Collins High School in Chicago, a senior, will come in for Bradley. And Percy Hawkins will get a rest here, 2.25 to go in the half. He picked up two fouls in the first three and a half minutes of play, but has avoided picking up that third. And he also got out to a cold shooting start, Lauren. He's battled back from it, and he's also passed the ball and played some very good defense. Inside to Frederick, off the glass, used it well. Now, now when Frederick set up inside, now he's got a hatching or wrapped around. The big guy can score down there this year. Almost stolen, nice supper. By Mark Raleigh, they went off the Bradley player after he got in front of it and tipped it and it hit a blade. So the Bulldogs will have control. They're going for their sixth straight point. As you see, Gary Garner, 3-9 against Bradley. And all back, they split two games a year ago. Not a happy visitors won a year ago. Not a happy coach right now, Lauren, but he'll have a chance to make his adjustments at halftime. Powell oh, starts with a foul, and he's explaining to Wayne Unruh that Frederick was using his elbows. I think at halftime, Coach Allback will be explaining to him and saying, hey, Donald, you can't play behind the big guy. The big guy's just too big. You have to contest the pass by wrapping around with a half of a front and then forcing a lob pass. He's just too tag on big to play by. He's a 6'10 junior out of Mitchell, South Dakota, 240 pounds. And he's a good free throw shooter, 82%. And he's developed an offensive move or two at that low post, and he's very effective. Nice play by Greg Jones, and the ball batted away from Thomas by Woodson and will be Bradley Ball. Again, great. Couldn't get a second shot. That's really been the story. That turnover. They get one shot, or they turn the ball over. Great pressure in, and Stan Albeck telling everybody, get down. Good thinking on that tap in. You can't throw it through people. You have to throw it around them. 
minute 35 that he played in the first half. Wilson missing. Greg Jones, what a game he's having tonight. Missing. And Drake has control. Martin, nice move. Off the glass, no good by Woodson, and Bradley comes away with it. Drake again. Nice move by Martin on the break. Very impressive floor awareness, but they couldn't convert. They're going to have themselves a good 8 9 20 run right now, but it's 6-4. They have not had any score in a while. And four here. What will Bradley do without Hawkins? Take it inside. Bradley by 20. Biggest lead, 24. Oh, they can't hit the broad side of a barn, as they used to say. We keep talking about it, but it's true, and then they don't get any second shot. It looks like maybe they're taking too quick of a shot. Maybe settle down and have court, pass the ball a couple more times, relax, and let your rebounders set up. Look at that for you. They're going intense. We got the half six. We don't want to hear about someone missing on a half six, right? 22 seconds left. Bradley going to the final shot. They lead by 20. Daniel, the type of point guard who can take it all the way to the hole. He's a striker. He loves to go down that pen. Down that paint. Three pointer. No good by Wilson. Got to get it up quickly. Get the back shot. Out of bounds, Bradley. And Blake will get the ball with 1.7 seconds left to be played. No doubt about how much time, huh? Boy, it makes you think you're in a track meet or a swimming meet. <laughs> Hamptons for price. Now, Maryland cabinets at factory direct prices. Maryland quality Maryland extras for the lowest price on cabinets. Nobody beats Hamptons. The box present has a reality Design Furniture and Systems have created efficient offices for hundreds of Tri-County businesses. From interior design and space planning to product selection, coordination, and accent pieces to their experienced service department's final installation. No matter what your space or budget, Design Furniture and Systems can make your office more efficient through space saver systems like this mobile storage unit or color-coded filing systems. Design Furniture and Systems, Downstate's fastest growing interior design company with additional sales offices in Bloomington and LaSalle, Peru. All you need to know about great selection and low prices is here, inside the newest circular from Two Badger Hardware Store. For just $5 each, the Dollar Dazzler Circular offers this Black & Decker Space Light, two guard plug-in timer, clip-on gooseneck lamp, master mechanic level, this screws all with the snips, or a scepter two-and-a-half gallon gas can. For great prices and professional advice, shop at participating Two Badger Hardware Stores, and tell them Pat Summerall sent you. If you're tired of sweatpants that can turn into sweat knickers after one washing and sweatshirts that can't hold up to a backyard first down, Brown Sporting Goods has the sweats you'll go for. New premium white sweats are the best ever, built by the folks who are experts at making comfortable yet rugged athletic wear. Russell Athletic sweats are heavier, thicker and softer, built tougher to last longer, and shrink less than ever. In short, we at Brown's think they're the best you can buy for the money. Russell Athletic Premium Sweats at all Brown Sporting Goods locations. I'm Paul Zakovic, Eyewitness Sports. Coming up tonight on Update, besides Bradley highlights, we'll show you the Illini who lose to Indiana today. The ICC women shoot for a record, plus the Riverman at home shoot for a victory. We'll see you at 10. At halftime, Bradley leading Drake by 20 points, 44 to 24. One time. Bradley had themselves a 24-point lead. Bradley's been tough, Mike, on runs. They've had runs of six points in a row, eight points, nine points, seven points, six points. And at one time, Drake had a run of eight straight, 
They led 8-6, to six, but the last time they led was 10-9, and it's been all Bradley since that time. It, in the early going, uh, Drake hung right in there. Then they got cold as it, as it is outside, and Bradley got uh, fired up, and they could not miss. Drake couldn't get a second shot, and they made a lot of turnovers. I really think those turnovers and quick shots that they took and missed were critical to Drake in the first half. Well, a big game for both clubs, and here's the reason why. Wichita State and Creighton are leading the Missouri Valley Conference right now, both with five and two records. Bradley at four and two, and Drake at four and three. So you see, if Drake loses, it's going to be awfully tough. They're going on the road for a while, and if Bradley should lose, uh, then they would be one full game behind Creighton and Wichita State. If Bradley wins tonight, it would appear that they're tied with Wichita State and Creighton, but that's not the case because Wichita State is uh, playing at home tonight, hosting Indiana State. Illinois State at four and three, still with hopes on moving up the ladder. Southern Illinois three and four, and Tulsa and Indiana State each one victory and five losses. Southern Illinois is at Tulsa. They're the scoring leaders in the Missouri Valley. Hersey Hawkins, though he leads the nation with a 36.2 scoring average, is 30.8 in the conference. Middleton out of Southern and Nuremberger out of Southern follow that up. Then Mason from Creighton, Bird, the freshman, the fine young player out of Indiana State, then Greer and Rourke here at Drake. Yeah, a lot of guys with 20-plus averages, Long. You can tell that this is a shooter's league and a lot of fine guards. And Berger, also out of Drake, right up there. And Rourke, the leading rebounder in the league. And here's a young man, Hawkins, fourth in the league. This man is in every category in the Missouri Valley, every statistical category, the only player in the league to have that. And only two men in the league, surprisingly enough, uh, are double figures in rebounds. Amazing. A guy can average 12.3, another fella can average 10. Rebounds again. That's a lot of rebounds. That's dirty work rebounding. These guys really got to have a big, big heart. And the Missouri Valley Player of the Week, Rod Mason from Creighton University, 6'3", senior guard out of Claremore, Oklahoma, the first Blue Jay player to be the Player of the Week in the Missouri Valley this year, scored 52 points last week in two games to lead the Jays to wins over Southern Illinois and Indiana State. For the week, he shot 53% from the field and converted 15 out of 16 free throws. Our congratulations to Rod Mason from Creighton University. Standing by is Bradley University Athletic Director Ron Ferguson, and Mike Pratt will be having a chat with him here at halftime, and we'll have all of that plus more at halftime here with Bradley leading by 20 over Drake after these messages. For most people, a new car is one of the largest purchases they'll ever make, yet they really don't know where to start. We can help. We're Shearer, Buick, Pontiac, Isuzu, and we've made a commitment to the right service and the right price. A commitment that's made us number one in customer satisfaction in the entire metro area. Buying a car isn't easy, but we're not in it for a quick sale. When we put our name on a car, it's our commitment to your business and your trust long term. We're Shearer. We'll show you how car buying should be. Race fans! Glorious to the All-Star brings up the Coors Super Series of Mud Racing! February 19th, 20th, and 21st at the Civic Center! The kings of the $500,000 Super Series! Over a million dollars worth of muscle machines! Blown mud racing action! Plus, Rappaport Handlebar to Handlebar Motocross! Oh, Home Airport in action! Same night! War of the Monster Club! The wheels standing no problem versus metal matching master of disaster! Glorious to the All-Star brings up the Coors Super Series of Mud Racing! $99 a month at LaSalle Audio and Video Centers. That's right, only 99 bucks get you this dual cassette deck with Dolby. Or this 50 water MFM stereo receiver, only 99 bucks. How about a car stereo, radar detector, or these great sounding 12 inch three way loudspeakers, only 99 bucks. But only at LaSalle Audio and Video Centers, where we guarantee the lowest prices since day one. It's time you shop the audio professionals at LaSalle, or you'll pay too much. LaSalle Audio and Video Centers in Peoria and Bloomington. At UFS, we don't sell cheap goods. We sell quality. Cheap. You can get Armstrong and Kegelian flooring. Like Dustin House appliances. And even metal out cabinets. For much less at UFS. For paint, carpeting, tools, roofing materials, quantities, cabinets, and appliances. Plus everything you need to finish the job. You'll get the best buys at UFS. So buy the best. But get it for less at UFS. UFS, where the savings are for real. 
Stoltz, Sam Elliott, and Cher. A true story of love and courage. Mass.
Well, I hope that uh, some of them shoot better. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think we can continue to go inside. If Vic's going to come out and put pressure on us, then I think we've got to go continue to go with the ball inside. And if Luke and, and Donald, and I, I imagine we might find Hersey inside a little bit the second half, uh, I think we need to continue to go inside, take the high percentage shots, and get to the free throw line. Hersey didn't shoot a free throw the first half, and there's something wrong with that, so we need to get him to the free throw line, Mike. Ron, thank you for stopping by. We really appreciate all your help you've given us over the years. Also, best of luck with the tournament. We're looking forward to being with you. Yeah, good luck to you guys, and, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you in Florida, Mike, and uh, we'll get together when you get to town. Thank you, Ron. Lauren, back to you. All right, Mike, we're at halftime. Bradley with a 20-point lead, 44-24. to 24. We'll be back with the first half statistics right after this. We're about to do something nobody's ever done before. Guarantee our products and theirs. And it all starts with a call to this number for all the facts about how we'll take your toughest soybean weed and grass problems, recommend a control program, probably using a little of both, and guarantee it'll work. No carryover, no stunning, or your respray chemicals free. What have you got to lose? Even the phone call's free. So call, because if you're looking for a catch, there isn't one. Office Interiors by Whitmer can maximize the potential of your office for greater productivity. Whitmer provides a complete package featuring office function analysis, interior design, space and systems planning, and installation. Client needs are skillfully integrated with elements of design, color, and the finest in office furnishings. Whitmer also designs and installs filing and binding systems, including movable shelving and rotary and automated files. A productive office requires planning. Planning by Office Interiors by Whitmer in Peoria and Bloomington. People don't believe our prices until they shop us. Then they keep coming back. I have bought from the peer to peer to drapery fabric, microwave, poison art. I buy things for my car. I buy things for my wife. I buy hardware. I buy lumber, rugs. For top brands at true discount prices, shop you at us. Get it for Well, the buys are just incredible. You In early movies, Fender Bendies were pretty funny. Today, they're not so funny when it happens to you, especially if you get hurt. When that happens, here's the name to remember, Jay Jansen. He's got a proven record of getting the most money in hand by law for his clients, and there's no fee unless you win. Personal injury is the only thing he handles, and he's been doing it for 25 years. I'm Jay Jansen, and I'll give you a free office consultation about your case. Call me, Jansen, because you want to win. Lauren Brown along with Mike Pratt at halftime here at Veterans Auditorium with Bradley streaking to a 20-point halftime lead, 44 to 24. At one point, Bradley had led by 24 points. The only time that Drake led was after trailing six to nothing. They reeled off eight straight points for an eight to six lead. And the last time they led, it was 10 to nine. Mike, nice interview with Ron Ferguson. And we got some good looking highlights coming up here. It's always good to talk with Ron Ferguson. There's a guy who's been around basketball at many different levels and had nothing but success. The pass from Manuel to Hawkins. Hawkins uses those picks in the passing game excellently. But Manuel knows where he's at. The little man can really run the show. He shows you what he can do here. Hawkins also shows you that not only can he score points, he can pass. And the big man, Jones, 15 points at halftime. Hawkins again using those picks so well. It's so great to see a guy scoring points without having to go one-on-one -on -one with the ball. Jones has been a factor. Two of his many points in the first half, and the coach Allback had a major concern about his offensive scoring out of the paint. Jones has answered the breakaway to Eric Berger. One of the few times Drake could get the ball to go down, Lauren. They really had a hard time. All right, we'll be back for those first half stats with Bradley leading by 20 at halftime right after this.
for everything tomorrow's champions need today. Ameritech Pages Plus, published by Dominique Dumitris. Shop here and shop a winner. For most people, a new car is one of the largest purchases they'll ever make. Yet they really don't know where to start. We can help. We're Shearer Buick Pontiac Isuzu, and we've made a commitment to the right service and the right price. A commitment that's made us number one in customer satisfaction in the entire metro area. Buying a car isn't easy, but we're not in it for a quick sale. When we put our name on a car, it's our commitment to your business and your trust long term. We're Shearer, and we'll show you how car buying should be. Well, it's this stuff, so you need to try it. You tried it? I'm not going to try it. You try it. Let's get Petey. Yeah. He wanted it. He ain't saving. He likes it. Hey, Petey. Mm. Oh, what are you doing? I want to see how many local people kitchen cooks are. Oh, 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 my own radio kitchen cook chili. Pick some up today. Hi, I'm Dean Jim. Back in 1920, when Jim TV and Appliance first opened their doors, my grandfather, father, and uncles began to build a reputation for Grimm, offering their customers fair prices, backed by good service and customer satisfaction. That family philosophy has become a tradition at Grimm. For value, service, and the best in RCA Electronics, Grimm TV and Appliance. We'll serve you better because we care. Morton, Peoria, and Wilmington. Bradley leading by 20 at halftime, 44-24. The Braves hit 48.6% from the field, while Drake only 35.7. Neither one shooting well from the three-point mark. One for five for the Bulldogs. Bradley three for seven, and two of those for Percy Hawkins. As far as rebounds are concerned, Mike, uh, Drake hanging in there. They've only been out-rebounded 21 to 18. Really not getting beat bad on boards except in one area. Offensively, they're missing a lot of shots, but they're not getting any second shots, so the, the availability of a putback is there, but they can't get one. And a big key right there. Second to last, turnovers, 11 to 5, and Bradley has converted off of most of them. And if you would push it on out through the second half, that's 22 turnovers, assuming they make the same amount in the second half, Lauren. You can't beat anybody with 22 turnovers. Well, we're about to go for the second half, and Sports Vision's coverage of the Missouri Valley Conference is brought to you in part by Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. State Farm Insurance for all your insurance needs, auto, home, life, and health. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by the Chicago Sun-Times. We've got Chicago covered. Well, we've got you covered here tonight. Bradley against Drake, and then after this, on Sports Vision, it will be Northwestern against Ohio State. And the young man who's playing a whale of a ball game, Greg Jones, 7 out of 10 for the field, 1 for 2 for the free throw line, 6 rebounds, and he's got a total of 15. The man he replaced, Donald Powell, came into the ball game off the pines and contributed with 7 points. What a stroke of coaching genius to bring you your substitute off the bench with 7 points. Frederick doing a fine job inside. Berger, the only perimeter score that Drake has been able to get going tonight. Inside, and Warren Pissy gets his own rebound, puts it up, he is down. Drake, you may recall, scored the last two back in the basket for the first half, so they now have a run of six points. They could have Sam Roy for the presence of mind to stay after that ball. I mean, he just battled in there. He could have given up after the first miss, but he didn't hurt. Resulted in a second shot, a made basket, and now he's got a chance to convert this foul shot for a three-point play. 63% free throw shooter out of Kansas City, Kansas, Wyandotte High School. Well, that's seven straight points for Drake. Their second longest run of the night. Frederick on the steal. That's what Ron Ferguson said. They're going to have to pressure more and press. As a coach, you want to see what your team does when they come back out in that start of the second half where they've got it inside them to make a battle out of this game being 20 that. And Drake has shown that. Kicked out of bounds by Silver Trippi. Drake going with their original starting five, Berger and Martin at the guards, James and Rourke at the wings, and Frederick in the middle. We'll give you Bradley's 
is injured when they get the ball offensively. Let's see if Drake continues to get that ball inside. Bennett has been successful. Bradley has a little bit of foul problem inside among the big guys. Let's see if they take that ball inside. And he's got a foul. Gonna be His third. He gets in there just too late. He's just about a two step away from that. Frederick had position. Good thought. Bad timing for Anthony Manuel. Five Bradley Braves had two fouls in the first half. Only two great players. And that foul on Manuel is his third now. Drake has a fresh 45 second clock. See if they take it back inside. Jumper by Berger. No good in the rebound. Red Jones. Bradley with the ball. Manuel, Hawkins at the guards. Jones and Trippi at the wings. And Jackson in the middle. Pass too hard by Hawkins. Jackson out of Springfield, Illinois. Does not hang on to it. He has to go to meet that pass. Hawkins put it on the right side, away from the defense, so it was a good pass. Jackson just had to stretch out there and meet it. Gary Garner, hoping his club can come back from a 20-point halftime deficit. They have scored the first three points here in the second half. They'll be able to make a rally using good, tough defense. Wow, on Jackson. No question about it. That is his third. Three quick team fouls on the Bradley Braves. Drake must continue to... Try to get this ball inside like they do right here. Try to run up that foul total on Bradley and then defensively push Bradley and run the ball up the court. Stand corrected. That was Jackson's fourth foul. He has not had a particular good game, particularly good game. That is his fourth foul with Donald Powell back in off the bench for Bradley. Let's keep our eye on Powell, see how he reacts off the bench in the second half. This shot inside. Gibby. But he didn't take it. Percy Hawkins to Trippy. Three-pointer. No. Hawkins try to get it inside. There are three people between the ball and Jones, and Drake comes away with it. Work on the drive. Pozak and misses. Drake has to convert right there, Lauren. Plays like that, they have to convert to catch up. I say we lost a lot of people at halftime. You look up the upper deck. But they're all just getting the popcorn and the coke to lay back to the seat. We've had a great crowd here. Out of that inning crowd. Manuel missing from outside. That's over 10,000 tonight. And a shot block. Maybe they're all at the Iowa caucus. That's not original. That's from our director, Bob Albrecht. Maybe Bob could help me out. You interviewed Ron Ferguson at halftime. I went to lecture from his golf partner team with Quinn Buckner leading the way one of the two years in a row in Illinois. They may have been undefeated both years. I know they were one year. I have seen Coach uh, Ferguson's picture on the wall of the Illinois High School Hall of Fame, which is at Illinois State. Very, very successful high school basketball coach and a very successful athletic record. Great with a seven-point run. Jumper short by James. Frederick puts it up no good. Trippy comes away with it for Bradley. Well, I'll tell you, Drake has had their opportunities. And they just get some inside shots. But they can't buy one from the outside still. And then they go inside. And as you said, they missed some easy ones inside that they had to score. Hawkins, three-pointer. No good. Drake trying to continue and add on to that seven-point run. Stolen by Manuel. Not a, not a good play by Glenn Martin. He's a senior. He tried to force that down the pike. And Emmanuel was right there. Three-pointer by Hawkins. Lindsey Hawkins now with 16 points. That was three out of five from three-point range. How would you like to guard him in your younger days? Oh, man. I, you couldn't put a piece of paper uh, under my feet when I jumped up. That's how high I didn't get. Defensively, if you have to guard this young man, you have to know where he's at all the time. And a foul inside on Powell, pushing off on Frederick. Powell has come back out the second half very aggressive, much like he did off the bench in the first half. His third foul, Stan Albeck. Has to be a happy coach right now. His inside game has come alive here tonight, and that was a major concern to him coming into the game. In and out by Berger. 
sedan is in at Honda World, and it's a real crowd pleaser. The LX sedan adds more standard features for comfort and convenience, such as air conditioning with bi-level temperature control, power windows and door locks, dual power outside mirrors, AM FM high power stereo system with power antennae, rich cloth upholstery, and a handy fold-down rear seat pack. See the LX sedan with an extra measure of luxury at Honda World. You'll be surprised when you shop at Kay's Furniture Mart. You'll be surprised at the size of our store. You'll surprised at our large inventory of quality name brand furniture and floor covering. And best of all, you'll be surprised at our everyday low, low discounted prices. We're open seven days a week and offer 90 days sandwich cash or up to 36 months to pay. Remember, we're not afraid of the competition. We are the competition. Kay's Furniture Mart, 3111, Southwest Adams at Weston. Well, Fred, our little company's moving up. Well, Max, on our way, let's stop at Computerland. We need another computer. Computerland was easy on the old budget. Even taught you to use it, Max. <laughs> we recommend Compact. The Compact Desk Pro 386 gives you unexpected power from a desktop computer. Uh, Fred and Max like the vast memory and lightning speed. See the Compact Desk Pro 386 now at Computerland in Champaign, Bloomington, Springfield, and Peoria. Fifteen forty-four to be played in this ball game. Bradley with a twenty-two point lead. Well, I'll tell you, if you would have told me that it would be a twenty-two point ball game right now before the game, I wouldn't have believed it. I know Stan Albeck was quite concerned coming in here. One of the many fans here having a good time. Obviously the great people aren't as happy as the, the following from Peoria that cheering on the Bradley Braves. The great has to start getting the ball to drop. They still haven't been able to get the ball to hold. Manuel with a good steal from Frederick. Inside, too high. Powell couldn't control it. Kick it back out. Eric Berger. And his Chicago vocational product takes it. Well handled fast break. Very nice move. Good body control. Drake needs something like that to get him going. They've got to start cutting the lead. Got it away by Rourke, but Manuel with it. Trying to get their defense to take him into the offensive end of the floor. Hawkins has all seven of Bradley's points. Here in the second half, he's got a total of 20. Just when you think you have Bradley stopped, the offense broken down, Percy Hawkins to the rescue. Love to see good passers. Hawkins down the drive. And he has scored all nine Bradley points here in the second half. Not many to your question, yes, I do. I'm sure you do. You've been around this game long enough to understand what that passing can do. Burger coming up short. Freshman out of Peoria Manual getting ready to check in for the Bulldogs. Hawkins misses. Powell with the rebound. He got pushed by Frederick. That'll be the third foul on Frederick. Lauren, I was going to make a point earlier, and that kind of drifted away from me here. But let's check out Donald Powell in the upper corner. Frederick just doesn't get to position. He's got to move his feet. There's two white bodies in there. Then you have to play with your feet. The point I was trying to make is Bradley is one of those teams that scores in transition two ways, off missed shots and turnovers, but they also score when you make a hoop. 
If you don't get back, if you drag get him, get him back, they'll score off a made basket. Very few people do that. Somebody running through his screen. Now it's going to be an offensive foul. Stuckey in the ball game. Or Drake now, Walter James, a senior, getting the rest. I tell you, Walter James is a senior, Glenn Martin's a senior, but they've got three starters back, and all their bench uh, the, for the Bulldogs are underclassmen. Coach Garner's done a good job of bringing some nice young ball players in this program. They will get better. Trippy charged with a foul, his third. There you see the lopsided shooting percentages as Drake misses again, higher at the rebound. That may get, be getting a little tired. They've played a lot of basketball, and it seems like the big men are moving on those kicking situations within the passing game. Well, Manuel, the second leading assist man in the nation at 11.9 in the ballgame, does not get one there. It's going to go down as a turnover. Great for the ball. Trailing by 22. And a friendly. Trying to kick it out. Stolen by Trevor Tilly. Lob down to Hawkins. Too far. Back the other way. Frederick got the ball inside that time. The big guy saw the open man on the other side of the lane. He just tried to pass it to two guys. Maybe a bounce pass instead of trying to pass through two guys would have been more effective. Drake has had an opportunity, but no question about that. Stucky. Martin, no good. Frederick. Can't get it to go in. Another case in point. As a coach and a player, if you're getting good shots, you can't worry about it. You just got to keep playing. Well good, and the tip is up and in. I believe they'll give it to Greg Jones. Yep. And Jones with 17 points. This guy Jones has had a career game. One thing Coach Garner was concerned about, he was willing to concede the points to Hersey Hawkins. He didn't want someone else to have a career ball game. That's exactly what has happened. Battle for the loose ball, Manuel with it. That basket by Jones, the first by Bradley, other than Hawkins in the second half. Dish off to Jones. Won't go. On the drive, Berger used the glass well. Berger did a fine job that time. He took the ball, he drove it through the hole, and scored over someone with Paula, Trevor Trippi. Good job. Well, against his former classmate at Westinghouse High School in Chicago, playing against him for the first time, he's got 11. So neither man's guarding the other. Manual. Inside, and we're going to get a foul on Glenn Martin, the senior from Carbondale. Hawkins used the baseline pick and showed up at the block. Martin, got, Martin gets caught behind. You see Martin Hawkins is too big. He's at the block. No doubt about it. When you get caught behind, you either let him have the ball or you get a reaching foul, just like that one. Martin, his second. Walter James back in the ball game. Frederick going out. They're going with a smaller, quicker lineup now. Look for some pressing situations. They're getting another shooter back in the lineup, Walter James. Nice move by Powell as he got around Terry Robinson. He's got nine points off the bench tonight. Has to be a big smile on Coach Allback's face. Donald Powell on the bench, comes off the bench with fire in his eyes and is really delivered. 24-point lead for the Bradley's biggest of the night. Looks like Bradley was playing a little zone, but they're not on the this shot. Rourke trying to get it back in. Caught up in the air, lost the ball or bobbled it, got the turnover. And Drake wants the timeout. 11-26 left to be played in this Missouri Valley Conference contest here tonight. Bradley 57, Drake 33. And we'll be back right after this. Well, Rory, we've been here six weeks now, and it's fantastic how people are responding. Greg Bruce, and I've got to believe that's people reacting to that belly name for giving the best price and the best service. And that applies all the way through, from the minute they walk through the door to when they first bring in that new car for service. At Bell the Oldsmobile Cadillac, we'd like to make a promise to everybody that we are committed to your total satisfaction in everything that we do. In sales, parts, and service. Come see us. Remember, at Bell the Oldsmobile Cadillac, we're going to change the way you buy a car forever. This winter, the big screen hits are coming home. HBO is hot. You'll see movies like Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom and Little Shop of Horrors. There's HBO World Stage, Tina Turner Live from Rio. He built ringside with Tyson vs. Holmes. And that's just the beginning. Add Cinemax with more movies like The Mission and Mosquito Coast. Jam the Cinemax sessions. Laugh through Cinemax Comedy Experiment. Get the combo. 
Heat and installation in just 88 cents first month. Why the HBO Cinemax Winter Heat Wave? Wait with a system 686-2600. Fifty-seven thirty-three, Bradley, twenty-four point lead. And a reminder, tomorrow afternoon, the Chicago Sting travel to Reunion Arena to take on the defending world champions, the Dallas Sidekicks. And coach Eric Geyer and his Sting, led by all-star goalkeeper Chris Patero, will be ready for this one. That's tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock on Sports Vision. There's the pressure by Drake. They have no choice but to do full court pressure, half court tapping. Try to get back in this ball game. Well, I'll tell you, Drake is not a bad ball club. They lost to Missouri at home by two. They played Iowa and Iowa State's up, losing by about five or six in both games as Hawkins misses. And they went up to Minnesota, knocked them off. But you don't know what team's going to show up for tonight. So you've got to give Bradley a lot of credit. They've forced Drake into a lot of turnovers, but a lot of Drake's been doing has been of their own volition. I think your statements are very true, and I'll, I'll stand on my original statement that Coach Garner has done a fantastic job from last year to this year with this ball club. They're vastly improved. If they continue to develop at this rate next year, look out. They'll be a team that has to be reckoned with. Hawkins has been at the free throw line tonight. One thing I can say about Hersey Hawkins is you have to wonder if and when he'll wear out this year. Everything that's been done uh, to him defensively, everything that's written about him, the pressure of being the leading scorer in the nation, you have to wonder if this young man will run out of gas. Stucky with the ball. We have a walking violation against the Bulldogs. Another turnover for Drake. 59-33, 26-point lead for the Braves. Not the way you get back in the ball game, and that's not going to help the Bradley Braves if Anthony Manuel is injured. Anthony tries to get over there. Looks like he just locked up his ankle. Definitely a traveling call. Drake needs to get some shots. When you can't get a shot, you're in trouble. You can't catch up. Trevor Trippi with the ball. They have to mention Tim Kirby in the ball game for Drake as Hawkins misses. Follow-up miss. Lauren Manuel's hurt. He stayed at the other end of the floor while this whole offensive set was going on. He's lifting. You'll see there playing the point defensively. He seems to be moving all right. The turnaround good by Terry Robinson. That's something we haven't seen outside of Bart Frederick, some offensive post scoring. 25 left to be played in this game. Bradley trying to go 5-2. and two. Wichita State Creighton 5-2 both. And we have an offensive foul, and it's going to be on Donald Powell. However, Wichita State in action tonight. They're at home. They have an opportunity to go 6-2 as we take a look at the replay. You can't fault Donald Powell for trying. Here's a guy that they sat down tonight. He came off the bench with fire in his eyes. Anything he does aggressively out here is going to keep Coach Allback happy. Keep working, Donald. You're making your coach happy. That was a fourth foul. And a shot up and in by Robinson. Out of Chicago vocational, he has made two in a row. 59-37, Bradley. Long way to go. Drake needs to stop Bradley a couple times. He creates some offensive pressure. Jones with the basket. And he is fouled. Not Jones what Drake 19 needed. points. Not what Drake needed right now. You don't need a foul in a situation like this. You caught out of position defensively. You give the offensive man the inside. You don't foul him. Going for the three-point play. Missing. Drake kicking it out. After tonight's game, uh, and seeing the offensive potential on the inside for Bradley, I've got to say that their only real problem could be foul shooting later on. Lawrence. Berger with a good shot. Well, they came into tonight's game. Shooting 69%. Hawkins missing 
from outside, and it'll be Drake's ball that goes behind the basket. I guess the criteria, if you're 70% or better uh, free throw shooting, shooting team, you're a good free throw shooting team. Well, I think what can hurt Bradley is their inside guys are their worst foul shooters. And if they start getting fouled and going to the foul line, they could lose out on a lot of opportunities to get their points. The drive to the basket by Martin is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Martin showed us something there. He just went one-on-one -on -one and whipped the defender, took it all the way to the hole, and nobody on Bradley rotated. He just whips Anthony Manuel. No help from the other Bradley players. Hey, he deserved that. Should he run the basket of the night? If you take a look at it from a different angle, good move. No defensive rotation for the Bradley Braves, and Martin just whipped Anthony Manuel. Three-point play good, and we've got a whistle and a foul, and it'll be charged on Berger. Speaking of Martin, played his final game last week at Southern Illinois University He's from Carbondale, and uh, the city folk and the university honored him. I thought that was a class move by the Salukis. I read about that also, and I agree with you uh, 100%. A lot of class on the part of Southern Illinois. You're talking about the tough luck Drake has had. In double overtime the other night, they had a four-point lead with six seconds to go in the second overtime, and a Saluki put up a three-pointer, made it, and was fouled. Turned it into a four-point play. Turned it into a third overtime as Jones does it. And Southern won in triple overtime. There's another greatly improved team, Southern Illinois, this year. Nothing but that Curtis Ducky, a Peoria, from Manuel High School, a freshman. With the three-pointer, it's never too late. They're going to take it away. No, 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 no. No. We might, if we have a replay, Bob, that might be interesting to see where he was at. Gary Garner is really upset. It was close. It was so close that... Uh, I watch his feet. Well, we don't really have a good angle. Looks like he's, be oh, he's behind the line. After he, he came down behind the line. Let's take a look at this angle. Guys, foot was on the line. Tippy toed over the line. And Bradley came back and scored. Manuel getting his first basket of the night. 63 44 Bradley. Yeah, that, that was a good call by the officials. We'll give him an A on that call. Baby Phillips. Thank God for grief. <laughs> you better believe it, Drake. Another turnover. It's been their Achilles heel tonight. Well, I think Gary Gardner not happy. They wanted to play a little more control ball game. And Manuel had scored all night. Back-to-back -back baskets. Well, they're getting good shots, though. They just haven't been able to convert. And their inside game, game outside of Bart Frederick has been non-existent. So, hey, when the ball's not following, falling, you just have to work hard and hope something turns out okay for you. And another turnover. Hawkins to Manuel. And set it for Hawkins, but it went off to Martin. It'll be Bradley's ball. The great fans don't like it, but it was obvious that it hit Martin. Anthony Manuel got a little cute that time trying to make the spectacular pass to the Hawk on the other side of the lane. We have a timeout. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left to be played in this Missouri Valley contest here tonight at Veterans Auditorium. Bradley, 65, Drake, 44. We'll be back with more right after this. Judge, it ought to be a law. When you buy an appliance, you ought to get a five-year limited warranty on parts and labor. And Benson's. It is the law. From the day it opened its doors, Peoria's first and oldest bank has been a symbol of guidance and security. Through good times and bad times, the First National Bank of Peoria has continued to serve the people of our community, offering a wide range of financial opportunities. Whether it be checking, savings, loans, trust services, or retirement plans, you can count on the first for all your banking needs. The First National Bank of Peoria, now serving you at three convenient locations. Start the new year right in a Taurus four-door sedan for as low as $192.89 per month. Choose from 120 units, discounted nearly $2,500. At University Ford, you're always a winner. All decked out in red and white, they've come here to support the Braves. They have not been disappointed. 
as you see a group of them with Bradley leading 65-44. Seven and a half minutes left to be played. Well, one Bradley grad here tonight, always good to see. Working on the radio side, former coach Joe Stoll. Former coach Stoll seems well. They came into Lexington my junior year and played in our tournament there. And the basket counts. Curtis Stuckey took the ball to the hole. This young man has come off the bench and made something happen here late. He Who takes it all the way. Curtis. Does a good job. Good body control. Avoided a charge very well. Good call. Back that year when you played at Kentucky, and we have a foul. And it's going to be charged against Stuckey. Bradley got beat by one point by the... Military Academy, Army, and they had a coach by the name of Bobby Knight. And we beat Duke in the first round. We had a coach by the name of Bucky Waters. Mm -hmm. And we played Army and Coach Knight in the championship. And our coach, I forget his name. It wasn't Joe Hall. <laughs> Mr. Ruff. Hawkins, nice pass to Powell. Excellent play. I tell you what, he's a, he's a great passer. All the pro people I've talked to, Lauren, I think they all understand he can score points and he's got a quick release. But I tell you what, that passing is unbelievable. There's the score. 20 of 52. Tough to win with that percentage. Got a foul off the bench for Bradley. 11 points. 27.3. That won't win many great school games. Powell inside gets another one. Frederick with the foul. And that will be the fourth on Frederick and Powell. That'll show us how motivated you are. Does a good job of pinning the big guy behind him and then drawing the foul. Watch him pin Frederick behind him drawing the foul. Excellent points. I tell you, being on the pines motivated this young man out of Nawana, Oklahoma tonight. Certainly is. Makes a great coach out of a very good coach. Staying all better. Terry Robinson in the ball game. Frederick goes out. He's got four fouls. Six and a half to be played here. Bradley trying to go to five and two. This tough hold row to hold for Drake now. Will they get new life in the tournament? Three pointed by Berger. What Drake's looking for now is execution, getting good hard play out of the fellows who are in there now. They don't want to give up. They want to stay together and see what they can do in this point. Yes, it looks bleak, but you don't ever give up. Berger high for Drake with 16 points. And the foul on Martin against Hawkins. I think he made a good point about the tournament. All teams are building now for that tournament play. Timeout, 6.04 left to be played in the ballgame. Bradley 70, Drake 49. And we'll be back after this. Who makes the best quality American-made appliances? Whirlpool, who guarantees 100% customer satisfaction. Whirlpool, where can you get the best price and free delivery on Whirlpool appliances? Neil's the king of deals. For a quick, inexpensive meal, you can have this or Shakey's Buffet. Cost about the same, but you get a little bit more at Shakey's. The salad bar, loaded with garden fresh vegetables, a variety of Shakey's delicious pizza, golden fried chicken and deep fried potatoes, piping hot pasta, and more. Well, that's the long and the uh, short of it. Come to Shakey's in Peoria, East Peoria, and Burlington. Find the biggest deals and the best quality at Wright Satellite Super Sale, including General Instruments IRD Complete System for only $19.95. Avoid the high pressure salesman who invades your phone and home with bogus price guarantees. At Wright Satellite, we not only beat our competitors' prices, we crush them. While talking about the Missouri Valley Tournament, it will be held in Peoria this year. Sponsored by Pepsi Cola. March 5th, 6th, and 8th. In Peoria, Illinois, tickets for all sessions still available. Call area code 309-677-2625 for more information. Did Ron Ferguson say at halftime they're about uh, two-thirds of the way sold out? Looking forward to a big tournament. Has had a very good free tournament sale. Looking for people to get excited here in the close for the last month of the season and having quite a few sellouts. I tell you, folks listening and watching in Chicago, it's going to be a great weekend down there if you're a basketball nut. People in 
Fiore will do it upright along with Bradley University and you'll see some high quality basketball. Hawkins with a pair. that they played the hands in the passing lane they've been very active Warren, they've done a good job defensively Walter James that's the steal but missed way outside Bradley with the ball and they finally they, I lived in Peoria for six years outstanding city born and raised in Chicago my favorite city outside of Chicago Peoria maybe the mayor after this telecast not blooming to normal okay okay I mentioned Bradley's defense because everyone talks about their scoring in their fast break, and we did today too. But I've been impressed with their defense. Yeah, they, of course, break into numerous turnovers. They were charged with 11 in the first half, and that is their 19th for the ball game. Remember when they put the 2-2-2-2-2-1 two, 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 full court pressure, which really bothered Drake a lot. So it's been a good night defensively for the Bradley Drake. Nice pass off to Trippi, didn't have a shot to Manuel, three-pointer good. He's been silent offensively, he's done his job running the show, getting the ball to the correct people at the right time. Now he opens up with a little offensive show himself. 26-point lead for Bradley, 4.45 to be played. Miller in Chicago after this game, Northwestern and Ohio State on sports station. Left side, Berger, he's having a good night. It's always better late than never. Well, Westinghouse High School in Chicago, well represented. Berger with 19 out of Westinghouse. Hersey Hawkins, as we mentioned, high in the game with 26. Westinghouse High School with a long tradition of quality basketball. Donald Powell. He makes it. Excellent ball game. The real question now for the Bradley Brave people is does Donald Powell come back and start? Or do you bring him off the bench? He really gives you some spark off that bench, I'll tell you. I tell you, he's played so well, Jones has played so well, we haven't seen Jerry Thomas. But really, you're correct there. I don't think I would fool this combination right now when you're hot, you're hot. Jerry played two minutes in the first half. 77-52. Little sloppy right now. They're not giving up. That's a good sign for the coaching staff at Drake. Look at it, Jerry Thomas. He's getting ready to check in the ball game along with Wilson for Bradley. A couple of Bulldogs also coming in. We have a foul. And coming in for Drake. Martin comes back. And Johnny Woodson coming into the ball game. Jerry Thomas coming in for the Bradley. Giving Walter James a break. He's been trying to chase Percy Hawkins for about the last 10 minutes. He has to be a tired young fellow right now. So Hersey at the line with a one and one is, you see Mr. James on the bench. St. Louis, Missouri, Beaumont High School. He feels good. I'll tell you what, the officials started out calling every little play, but it's really paid off in this ball game. They, uh, they knew what they wanted to do. We were a little critical at the start, but yet uh, they made their point known to both clubs, and we've had a relatively foul-free game other than silly fouls, basically. Many times officials are like teams trying to establish a tempo. And Thomas trying to get it to Wilson, ball batted out of bounds. 25-point lead for the Bradley Braves. Bradley's hit just about everything they've thrown up. Drake can't buy a basket. That's the story of the ball game. Inside, Hawkins got his man in the air, and he takes the foul for it. Glenn Martin. A lot of Drake folks leaving Veterans Auditorium a little disappointed, I'm sure. Curtis, Curtis Stuckey. Stuckey charged with it. Nope. No, that's 
Glenn Martin, I, was gonna, I thought that was Curtis Tucky. I was going to say he's getting a great defensive education guarding Hersey Hawkins, but that was Glenn Martin got caught behind it. Yeah, I, I think you'd want to keep the senior on Hersey, not the freshman. Well, the game is so far down the line now, it's, it's not a bad learning experience. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. How many times do you get to guard someone of the quality of Hersey Hawkins? Not very often. Hersey makes them both. 30 points for Mr. Hawkins. 91 to 54. I'm sure these great fans did not expect to see what's happened here tonight. That's a shame because they had a very, very nice crowd. A crowd that was into the game at the start, but Bradley took them right out. Stucky missing. Manuel will bring it up for the Braves. Hawkins almost lost it. You know what? You took the words out of my mouth. I was going to phrase that they, they certainly don't utilize that shot clock at all. What shot clock? They don't need a shot clock. Huh? That's right. 32 now for Hawkins. Berger missing. Foul out to the field. Wilson trying to get it back to Thomas. But great coming away with it. Should have got that one. Donald gave him one. He played defense just to get back on the offensive end. Two easier shots there. Donald, your plan's still great. Oh, he's got pin that foul. He probably wants to stay in the game. So I would have loved to see him pin that one, not get a one. I'd love to see a block shot. Jerry Thomas. That's his first shot, first basket. I'm going to have to sit down and have a talk with Coach Allback and see exactly where he finds fault with this offensive inside game. All three of these young guys. Uh, and Donald Powell, the senior, has played really well for us. He has to be happy. Glenn Martin, his second straight basket. He's got seven. All of his seven in the second half. 85-58. Too late for Drake as the 
Bradley Braves prevail. And at this point in time, are in a three-way tie with Wichita State and Clayton, all with five and two records. So Hales from Westinghouse High School in Chicago.